What's up, fight fans? Main man, me man here. Y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing. What up to the fam? What up to everybody in main man, me man's boxing form? Hey, look, the thing is this. Word on the curve is that we're going to get the fight in this official now going down November the 5th between Dimitri Bivol and Gilberto Zerto Ramirez. Dimitri Bivol is the WBA super champion down at 175 pounds. And yeah, man, it's been ordered by the WBA that he goes on to face Gilberto Ramirez. And it seems as if both sides have now came to an agreement. No need for a, a purse bid to go on and everything going forward. I love this fight, man. We know that Gilberto Ramirez has been calling out Dimitri Bivol's name for quite some time. This is a fight that he's been hoping for, and he thinks that the timing of this fight is even better because, you know, Dimitri Bivol just fought Canelo Alvarez. So he believes that, you know, it has a little bit more spotlight to it, and Dimitri Bivol's name is a bit more known. So it's a good time to take the fight. I actually agree with Gilberto Ramirez, you know what I mean? I like the stories behind this fight. Uh, the fact that Dimitri Bivol is, is now uh, getting his recognition and people are recognizing his skills and how good that he really is. I mean, a, 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 anyone who's been paying attention has known that Dimitri Bivol has always been a shaker and a mover, a highly skilled fighter, uh, a, a worthy champion, you know. And people who just been sitting back looking at that division just been wanting to see him fight uh, Artem Viterbiev. And that would, you know, that's the fight that a lot of boxing fans been wanting to see for quite some time because they know how good that Dimitri Bivol is. And the thing is, man, you know, Gilberto Ramirez has moved up in weight. He's did his thing, man. He's beat the he's beat some of the lower tier guys at 175, guys like Sullivan Barrera. And and, and in his last fight against uh, 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 Bozel, a lot of people believe that he struggled and he didn't look so well, but he got the victory indeed, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Gilberto Ramirez is a very good fighter, man. A, a big puncher, good body puncher, you know what I mean? Uh, bit clumsy at times you know with his footwork or whatnot but once again a good puncher big puncher uh a good good size good range uses his range effectively you know what i mean he's a good fighter and he's a former champion at 168 and unfortunately he has some you know out of the ring issues uh dealing with his former promoter bob Arum, and it kind of caused him to hit the reset button he hit the reset button, fought his way back onto the ring, uh, to, to better names, and now he's aligned with Oscar De La Hoya and Golden Boy. And so now, you know, he's in position now to get better fights. And he's been wanting fights like Dimitri Bivol and fights like uh, Arthur Baturbiev, and he's been saying names like even David, um, uh, David Benavidez. And, you know, he sparred all of these guys. They're all sparring partners. Even uh, Dimitri Bivol and Zerto Ramirez, they're spawn, they were former sparring partners, so they're very familiar with each other. It's going to be a good-ass fight, dog. It's going to be a real good-ass fight. You know what I mean? I'm really looking forward to it. I think it's a very 50-50 fi fight. Um, uh, I think a lot of folks may favor the skill set of Dimitri Bivol, and he's a very skilled fighter that he can move and he can he can uh, uh, change the angles and dictate pace and be a ring general in there, make you miss, make you pay. Uh, does a lot of good things well. Um, but, of course, uh, his criticism would be against him is, a lot of people don't see him kind of step step on the gas much. Like if he has someone out on their feet or if they're hurt, uh, he's not a you know a finisher. He's a more of a let the knockout come to him kind of guy. You know what I'm saying? As opposed to kind of going after it and going getting it or showing a mean streak. And some be people believe that can be a difference against a fighter like say Zerto Ramirez or or either a fighter like uh, Arthur Baturbi. So we'll see, man. I always bet it on Bivol, man. I always thought Bivol was a really very good fighter. But I think Zerto is a very good fighter as well. And I think he has things that can kind of nullify a lot of things that Dimitri Bivol does. Such as Zerto Ramirez is a very, very big puncher, fight fans. Don't underestimate that. Like, he can punch. You know what I'm saying? Look at his knockout ratio, man. He He's stopping people. You know what I mean? And his power has translated through weight classes. Uh, the thing is, he could take a punch as well on himself. Like, he could take a licking and keep on ticking. And so to, to, to get into a fight with him, into a fire fight with him, would be very, very dangerous because he can definitely, definitely crack. He has a, a bit of an equalizer, if you will. He's a southpaw, you know what I'm saying? A uh, southpaw that can fight rangy if he needs to. And when he gets up on you, he's down for the water fight on the inside. So that was a, 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 a very, very good punch. I mean, and that's the that can change the course of a fight at any given time. And he's full of heart. Uh, he wants the fight. Um, that's that's big, you know what I mean? Just as much as Dimitri Bivol can move, uh, Zerto is a very, very good body puncher. 
Um, Zerto's body punching is, is, is solid. He, he throws those powerful right hooks to the body. I mean, he sinks opponents with those things, fight fans. So it, I think this is going to be an interesting fight once again. And, and I, I I have noticed that honestly, just to be honest about it, uh, the, the previous call outs from Gilberto Ramirez kind of went unanswered um, by Dimitri Biffle. I mean, maybe Biffle had other things to do, whatever the case may be, but Zerto wouldn't have been on his trail for a minute, man. He's been wanting this fight and thirsty for this fight for a minute, you know what I mean? So now he got it. He got it ordered by the WBA. You know what I'm saying? Everybody did a good deal. This is going to be a good-ass fight. November the 5th, fight fans. And then it's going down in the UAE. Shit, that's crazy. It's going down in the Middle East. They buying all the fights out there, man. You know what I'm saying? That's where the money at, man. Hey, Crawford and Spence should have got out there. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, man, this is going to be a good-ass fight. You know what I mean? May, may the best man win. I think it's a 50-50 fight. Where I'm leaning right now, it's even really kind of hard to say. You know what I'm saying? Uh... It really is kind of hard to say, truth be told. I mean, shit. Big puncher versus the skills. I think maybe I'm leaning slight semi-bivel right now. But I just really feel in my gut also that Zerto can 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 catch Bivel. It's possible, fight fans. It's very much possible. It's a very different dynamic than, say, Bivel and Canelo was. Where I never really felt that Canelo was going to hurt Bivel. But in this case... I feel like Zerto has a damn good shot at actually hurting Bivol and, and catching him with a shot. But it's going. It's, I think Bivol has the ability to run up a bunch of rounds on Zerto, uh, mainly because of Zerto's footwork. And I think Bivol will try his best to take advantage of that, man. But it's going to be a good ass fight. Uh, either way it goes, you did. We get closer to this, we'll talk more about this uh, on a live stream. I've already got another video about this fight on the channel, kind of breaking down the styles and uh, breaking down the fight game. Y'all can check for that, man. It's on the channel. But this is a cracking fight, man. But that's when it was just being talked about. Now it's actually official. So, yeah, it's a good-ass fight, fight fans. Thumbs up on the way out if you didn't hit it on the way in. Share, share, share. Rock the bells. Who y'all rocking with? Or should I say who y'all leaning towards? You know what I'm saying? Let me know in that comment section. And I hit up with y'all soon. To the next video, man. Peace out.